Did you guys come up with anything that could help find Robin? No, they're still looking. Oh. Well, I didn't want to press it with Maxie in the moment, but I really do think that Robin took off on her own. Well, I think it's very nice of you to help out regardless. Yeah, well, anything to get in your good graces. <sighs> Even if it means watching that lovely oh, chick flick. Don't be prejudiced. It's got a lot of <laughs> action and violence in this movie. <laughs> right, yeah. Two women are best of friends living in a small Arkansas town. A struggling waitress. An unloved housewife of a sexist husband. Knock it <laughs> off. They shoot a guy and go on a rampage. <laughs> so. Uh, you hold that thought? Yes. Please? I will. Hi. Um, I'm interrupting. Sorry, I didn't realize. Okay, you know, I, I am going to murder Ethan. Hey, Johnny, sorry about all the confusion here. Uh, yeah, no, come in, please. Um, you, just give me a minute. I'll have it all sorted out. Listen, mate, I was hoping that I could use your place to spend some time with my and I. What's wrong with your place? Have you seen my place? It's not exactly the kind of place to make a good impression in. Did you get my message? Uh, yeah, and if you would have checked your messages, you would have gotten my message saying that this place is being used tonight, as you can see. Olivia, I, I am so sorry. We will be out of your hair in just a minute. Uh -huh. You've got absolutely nothing to apologize for. God, you know, I, I should have known this invitation was bogus. Remember a couple months ago, Ethan tried to pass this penthouse off as his own? Well, you gotta give the guy points for creativity, right? Right. Or kick him in the head for being a pathological liar. <laughs> it's not like we had any big plans for the evening. We were just gonna stay here and watch a movie, which is empty. You know what? I left the DVD back at my house. No, you didn't. So, I did. It's back at my house. Why don't we head back to my place and we'll watch it there, okay? Well, you owe me. Come on. You guys have fun. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out that door. Well, because you'll have so much more fun if you stay. <laughs> Uncle Sonny says Claire didn't mean for Michael to go to prison. Well, I believe that's true. Well, but it still feels wrong that he's dating her. Well, Sonny probably justifies it because of all the kind of really cool stuff that she's done. I mean, if you think about it, she is the one who got Jason into prison so he could protect Michael and got him right back out again. Now you're justifying. Come on, drink this. Cut me some slack. I'm trying to be the wise older sister here. Well, it's just that Christine is going to use this as another reason to be mad at her dad. <sighs> okay, listen, I'm not really a big fan of Claire Walsh, but... Chrissy's gonna have to realize that Sonny is the only father she's got. So you're saying she should just smile and make nice whatever he does? Uh, no. Okay, listen, Chris, Chrissy's gonna have to understand something, and so are you, actually. As you get older, you're gonna have to learn to accept that nobody's perfect, not even those you love and admire. Hey. You okay? Um, I'm trying to take it in stride. I mean, honestly, I'm a little freaked out the way that Mac just dragged me into the police station. He didn't let me, uh, talk to an attorney. He didn't read me my rights. He just called me in and then accused me of kidnapping Robin. But he let you go. Well, yeah, he had no choice. I mean, Mac doesn't have anything that resembles proof. And he's just convinced that I'm somehow plotting to make Robin look unstable. For example, he said that he thinks that I'm, I threw myself in front of her car. I mean, that's my favorite. You know, why would I purposely put myself in the hospital? I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I, I'm just a little unnerved by all of it. Well, I don't blame you. I just, I hope it's over now. It's not even close, because when I was in the station, Mac and some of his forensics buddies ransack my apartment and impound my car. I don't even want to go back home because everything's going to be torn up. I mean, it just feels like such a violation. It's just not fair for Mac to just trample on your rights like that just because he doesn't want to accept the fact that Robin took off. I believed Patrick when he said that he wanted to commit to me 
to be a husband and a father. But he didn't change, you know? And y you can't have things both ways. Making a new life with someone while holding on to the past. Exactly. Kind of like what you're doing with me. I'm not excusing what Patrick did. I'm just saying, I'm just saying there's two sides to everything. Wait a minute. You're comparing my husband cheating on me to me honoring the memory of someone that I loved? How have you been honoring me? What kind of question is that? Humor me. Oh, I don't know. The photo albums and... A diary, you know? Sometimes I get it out and I read it. How often? I don't know. Something really sad happened last spring, so I, I read it then. And Patrick knows you're reading your old diary about your first love. Well, so what? You know, he wasn't very nice about it, which baffles me because what happened with us happened a long time ago. I mean, long before I even met Patrick. And and I try to honor your memory by, by giving back to the HIV and AIDS community, but it went to Africa to help people that were suffering. Suffering the way I suffered. Yes. What is wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. But you put all those pieces together and it paints a really clear picture. Come on, there's a place in your heart that's permanently out of Patrick's reach. <laughs>